What's up everyone? This is the Destroyer229. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we went through the Shadow Pokemon Lab, defeated Ian, but failed to snag Raikou. In this episode we're gonna head on over to the Under where Net asked if we found any sort of information there at the lab. Now if I sound a little bit stuffed up, I'm... I have a little bit of a cold right now. So, it's not too terribly bad. I'm feeling better. That's why I decided to record now. But yeah, if I just sound any different, it's just that. So, going through the UFO. It's been a while since we last saw you. We'll head on over to Nett's house. Hey Nett, we found you a disc. Not sure if it'll help you, but... Oh! A list of all the shadow Pokemon. So we could actually... Well, they cleared out. The point of the lab was that every single scientist, including Ian, said that they were clearing out. All the shadow Pokemon had been moved, but they weren't developing anymore. So if we have a list, we can know exactly how many shadow Pokemon there are. We can save them. We can save all of them. Oh no. I guess that's what he wiped off. Alright, Net. Just tell us whenever you find something new. Now, kind of a little side thing. I did a little bit of training off screen. Espeon, Umbreon, Mischievous, Anti Flosion are at 44. Ampharos is at 42. And at 42, Ampharos learned Light Screen! Also, I got two more purified shadow Pokemon, Swablu and Hitmontop. So I have Fortress with me now. Really, Hitmontop was quite fast. I'm not sure if it was just because I forgot it was in there for a while, or if its nature really helped out. But at this point, we're at a loss. We've defeated the admins. And we have to leave Net to give us with information. So what have you got to say, Bit? Silva? Well, wait, wasn't Silva here? In the Real Gam Tower? I've never heard of the Real Gam Tower. Good question. But Silva, he's, he's trapped, isn't he? Um, Silva? What have you two got to say? A coliseum at the top of a new tower. Is it that real gam tower? Cypher's real gam. Hmm. So Cypher's new base is at the Real Gam Tower. A new tower that's apparently risen up somewhere. So, let's go ahead and try to find it. Oh, by the way, as I was going through the training, I actually went through Pyrite's Coliseum twice. Through going through it a second time with the high level Pokemon, you get TM7, Hail. Going through it again, you get TM5, Roar. Now there's actually something before we... Well, hold on a sec. First, you'll see that, well, wait, there's nothing new. Head over to the right. The construction site is now the Real Gam Tower. 
But we're not going to go there quite yet. There's something else that I want to go through first. And it's actually way back to Fanny. Now, what exactly could be in Fanuc, you might be wondering. Why would I want to come back here? We're supposed to head on over to Real Gam. Well, remember when I said Justy had level 40 Pokemon and he wanted to wait until we had so 6 Pokemon? Well, since our Pokemon are now in the 40s, they can match up with him. Uh, I'm going to put Ampharos in place of... Put in place of Umbreon. And for us, needs training. Okay, so yes, this is a little bit going off track from the main story of the game, but this is something I kind of wanted to get done with. Just so I could finally finish off the pre gym. So yes, we get to finally take on Justy. He's gonna start things off with a Kecnia and an Azumarill. See, this is why you didn't want to fight him before when your Pokemon were in the 30s. The last time we came here. Okay, you side beam there, you Thunderbolt on Azumarill. Yeah, now we could we could probably go through this with ease. Probably, if you really want to come here as a good time, I would think you'd want to be in probably the mid-30s. Mid to late-30s would probably be good if you want a fairly challenging battle. I mean, I fought Pokemon that are 10 levels higher, but they're relatively weak, and their trainers only had 2 or 3 Pokemon. That's in the Pyrite Coliseum. And Ampharos is screwed at this point. Um, you'll also notice that his Pokemon, he used a Kecnia, an Azumarill, and now he has a Gligar and a Sandshrew. He used, it seems like he's using Pokemon that the other trainers did. Didn't notice that before. Um, let's switch to... Mischievous. You know, if he keeps up this trend, I mean, it might be that. I mean, I never noticed that before. I just noticed it right now. And there goes Sandshrew. Yeah, Espeon can one-shot these guys easily. Okay, so his fifth Pokemon, Sunflora. Another grass type. Okay. Yes, you're gonna... Whip up a sandstorm. How frightening. Yeah, I mean, really, you come at this point in the game, your Pokemon are going to be overleveled. You can take care of this really quickly. So, let's see. Espeon, take down Gligar, Mischievous, you aim at Sunflora. And critical! Nice. Alright, his final Pokemon, Nosepass. Yeah, I think he he does use Pokemon from the other four trainers. Or at least the types. Probably not the exact Pokemon, but definitely the types. And double team. I know how to deal with double team. I use a sandstorm, that's what I use. <laughs> Okay, 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 yes. All the Pokemon get hurt except Nose Pass. Can we please move on? You swift, mischievous, you Shadow Ball. Take down some Flora. Okay, I didn't expect Nose Pass to be hurt that much. Oh, wow, that barely did anything. And... Jeez. Oh great, more double teaming. Man freaking fantastic. And no I don't feel like doing my usual more thing. Yeah, I'm 
just just because I'm sick. Yes, yes, yes. Can we please speed this up? I have other things to do in this episode than to go through sandstorms. Okay, Espeon, Psybeam on Nosepass, Mischievous, Shadow Ball on Sunflora. Ah, oh, damn it! Thank you, Mischievous! Okay, taking down Sunflora. Can you please? Thank you. And he's just gonna keep using Double Team! Fan freaking tastic. Please let the sandstorm subside. Damn! Come on, this is starting to get really tedious. I have other things to do in this episode, you know? Things to do, places to be, towers to explore. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Go! Okay. Thank you! That's gonna speed things up. Okay, Psybeam. Faint attack. That's why I switched to you, Umbreon. Hey, hey! That was a pretty good hit. Finish it off, Espeon. Finish it off. Damn it! Okay, magnitude 6. That's not too bad. <laughs> that barely did anything to Umbreon! <laughs> well, Justy down. We've defeated the pre gym leader. Gained a little bit of XP on the side. You get a good amount of money from it, too. Are you going to give me something? Thank you. So we get TM27. And that contains... Return. Okay, Espeon already knew that, and... Oh, well, we don't really need to... We don't really need any of our other Pokemon to know it, but I'm going to talk to the teacher, even though... Are you not going to update my thing? Ah, oh, why? That's the secondary reason why I came here. Well, whatever. Well, everything's done in Fanic. So it's time we head off to the real Gam Tower. Cypher's new base. Looks a lot more magnificent than we saw it previously. Opening day, huh? They've been expecting us. Hmm. I guess they would. And we can go through three different paths. I'm gonna go through the center. There's an old man here. First, I'm gonna heal up. Now, you might be wondering, wait, why is there a healing station and a save point? Well, we'll save that for next time. I'm not gonna end the video off here because there's an old man. No, I'm not lost. Oh, what? Okay, yes, I'm lost. So yes, if you walk around, the screen will flash red. You'll hear some sort of noise. Um, back in third gen, 
Your Pokemon continuously loses one hit point every time that happens until it faints. Was it until 4th gen that they made it so that it was... to... one hit point. But we can head on over this way. I think... I'm gonna get jumped, aren't I? No, I'm not gonna get jumped. And we have two Cypher Peons guarding our way. You do have to challenge both of them. As you can see, I can't squeeze by. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have left, but I'm probably going to take down that previous battle. That guy back there didn't have a Shadow Pokemon. So let's fight against you. There's a reason why I'm doing this right now. It will become apparent, eventually. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna have a pile of swine and a Delay Bird. At least he has some stronger Pokemon. Okay. And what is this? Delay Bird. Okay, so... Unlike that previous guy, this guy does have a Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Can take down Pile of Swine easy next to Oh Shoot. Yeah. Okay, take down Pile of Swine. Try Thunder Wave again. Okay, Pile of Swine is down. <laughs> Deli Bird looks like it's just floating in midair. Alright, so it's third Pokemon, Glalie. Okay, and... <laughs> Dive Bomb. Okay, so Deli Bird is paralyzed. So, Espeon, use Return on Delibird. You Ampharos, Thunderbolt on Glalie. Ooh, that did a really good amount of damage, but... Okay, Delibird is flying, but Ampharos is probably due. Yep. Okay, well... Let's get Typhlosion out there. Okay, so I want to Shadow Rush. Okay. Espeon, you attack Glalie. Typhlosion, smoke screen. Come on, Espeon, take down Glalie. Ah! Oh! Lower Delibird's accuracy. Then, hopefully... Crap! Frazzle, frazzle. Okay, Typhlosion can take these hits. Um, let's... Send out Fortress. Let's get its heart gauge opened up. If Swablu could take hits, Fortress definitely can. Okay, Fortress. Um, da, 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 da. Ultra Ball. I'm going to need... You're going to encounter a ton of Shadow Pokemon through the course of this tower. Because... At this point... We're close to the end of the game. Really, we are very close to finishing up this game. So, stock up on Ultra Balls and Timer Balls if you can. You are going to need them, because there's going to be a ton of Shadow Pokemon for you to catch. 
Well, we beat Arton. And we've caught us a Delibird. So, in going through this door, we find a room. Now, this door will not open until the four keys are put in. The key slots are these Pokeball type mechan mechanisms on this wall. So there are four keys that we need to find here at Real Gam Tower. So, actually I'm gonna... So next time we're going on Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to find those four keys. But I'm gonna leave you guys off with Bela. Okay, so... I'm hoping she has... She sends out her Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Another bird was 45. So maybe her Sun Flora. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Hopefully. Yay! Okay. So if you challenge Bela, you will encounter a Shadow Sun Flora. For you to catch. So... I'm going to take care of this, I'm going to catch some flora, and next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to do exactly what I said, we're going to find those four keys, and head on over to the main tower itself. Until then.